Happy New Year, peeps! On this New Year's Day, you know, I tried many versions of Linux. I still have Think, uh, um, what was it again? Um, this Linux installed on, on the Compaq, but huh, I was fed up. So I jumped into my laboratory, however you say that, and I created a very light version of Windows XP and I just burnt it to a CD on the Linux so let's take a look at that so there it is of course always advise a nice uh, cup of choc chocolate milk uh, we just burned this one here you can see it I called it uh, ultra light also made a Vista version a light Vista version I called it uh, maxi light and this is also the maxi light uh, Windows XP created of course from original version of Windows XP and removed many stuff out of it so we're just gonna pop it in gonna give it a little control out and delete there and there we go gonna boot straight up from the baby So I just hope that it's going to run good. I'm going to press the boot from CD. And listen to the sounds, eh? I always love the sound of this of the CD-ROM player. It's like it's like a sort, sort of siren, you know? You hear that? So we're gonna boot up what we're doing now we're booting up windows xp so in fact you're also gonna learn how to install windows xp many people uh, don't even uh, know xp the new vista and seven this is an eight gigabyte hard drive what we're gonna do we're gonna hit d as it says delete we're gonna delete the partition we're gonna hit l and now we have eight gigabyte unpartitioned space okie doke this is a very old hard drive so we're gonna hit ok and in here you can see that you can format the system in various uh, well in two sorts of partitions the FAT and the NTFS I should go for the NTFS in fact you should go for NTFS uh, format using the NTFS file system you know this will go slow if this is a very big drive you know it will take very long but this is a small drive so in fact we could go slow okay because this is the right way how to do it if there's something wrong with the drive then we will find it in here but this might take a while so I'm gonna pause the video until this is done all files copied and we're going to the reboot now we won't press any key it will just now boot from the hard drive as you can see the little hard drive there the thing is only 8 gigabytes so that's why i created a very light uh, version of windows xp and i'm sure that this uh, will run fantastic on this system mm, maybe that i will have to download some drivers not sure if well i did not remove the original song drivers and video drivers and so but maybe i will have to download some extra drivers this will kind of go automatically but other than in windows 7 and vista you will have to leave the drive the cd in the drive because it's still reading from the cd so if you remove the cd now it can't continue the installation so it in the first place it just copied uh, certain files to the hard drive to boot from it and then continue the installation from cd so we're gonna let this go and after another reboot um, I think we should come somewhere into the desktop and there we are after some uh, flickering of the screen we cut into the we can give it a name here this will be Armada 48 next we're just gonna remove the little numbers there Leave the little dashi.
We are in, of course, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. And it's not slow or whatsoever, right? So this is like really speedy. Running really feeling good. This is the final reboot. Logo. <laughs> Just think of it. Windows XP Lite installed on the old Pentium, but also with the only 8 gigabyte hard drive. So if this was like the full version of Windows XP, the thing would kind of start lagging after installing, you know, some, some programs on it. But uh, because we won't need to install all sorts of crazy things like virus scanners and, and, and firewalls and things like that, because we're also not gonna do crazy things on it. But uh, make no mistake, this will be uh, a computer that you can easily go onto the internet, watch uh, uh, or read the news. I wanted to say watch videos, but that will not be possible. YouTube videos won't play or if they play, it will be really, really slow. But we also gonna take a test and see how that goes. Cause I have a little Wi-Fi USB stick that uh, we can connect to this thing. I'm gonna just call this thing top. So, and then finish. And now you will see the desktop. And the installing went really nice, really easy, really fast. Even though this machine was created for Windows 95. You see that? It has the Windows 95 sticker. This is a kind of old laptop, my friends. I think we're almost there. And there we are. And <laughs> sound is installed, peeps. Look at that. Sound is installed. Wow. I have sound again on this baby. That makes me happy. Let's go into the device manager and see if there are other stuff that need to be installed. This machine was so supported by Windows 90 or XP. And only some communication port is not uh, functioning. I'm just gonna disable it. Oops. Boom. We don't need it. For the rest is everything uh, kind of good let me see at the display rt 3d rage lt pro wow so um yeah this is it um and now of course this system will be kind of uh, made in a way that we're gonna use it in a very light way because you can see uh, use space 766 megabytes and we have free space left 7 gigabytes that is even more space than I have on my iPhone 6 the space left on the 16 gigabytes huh? so uh, peeps this is it I really like this project so now we're gonna do some pimping okay I did many things many little things worked for hours on the baby and uh, I can show you some stuff that I installed. You can see I changed the start menu, the team uh, looks good. Did it with a very uh, beautiful light in a light way. Uh, this is not a resource hugger or so. Um, I installed, of course, my Camtasia Studio 2. I installed the K-Lite Koda Mega Kodak Pack uh, 7-Zip. I have Chameleon as uh, as browser also have Firefox but Firefox is way too much for it also have iTunes installed uh, to listen to live music and uh, yeah you can <laughs> You can hear the quality is very good uh, it's very nice sound so that is uh, also really cool so this is a kind of yeah music uh, player it plays podcast i uh, have these links of the podcast i just put them into the itunes player because in fact this itunes player is kind of old it's uh, not connecting to itunes anymore but i can put my own links 
And uh, we also have Dub Sessions here from New Zealand. Also got some podcasts. Dub Session Podcast. Sounds Special little. Special New Zealand Reggae Edition. The intro is kind of retarded, but the music is pretty good. Roaring sounds. We'll play some music. This is dub music, eh? instrumental reggae. It's for space effects, kind of music that I also create. But mine sounds different. I probably can't play the music too long because I might get copyright complaints. Although these are podcasts, so I think this music is not uh, kind of protected or so. But uh, this is it, peeps. Uh, I'm really happy. So let's see if YouTube works. I'm enjoying here. I finished it uh, a bit. I'm watching uh, YouTube uh, Bonanza. <laughs> I don't put it on full screen because then it goes a little bit slow. Anyway, I'm really happy about the system. Also, uh, the browser is really fast. I mean, like, not like fast, fast, but fast for the system because I tested the Explorer that was on it. That thing was really outdated, so I installed Firefox. Well, it booted up, but you know, booting time and showing Google, showing Google News was ridiculous. This thing is. Uh, I think worth it to make a kind of review of although all of you already have fast systems there so who's talking about Chameleon browser but I think Chameleon browser it looks good I just downloaded iTunes um, old version iTunes you guys are like why you want iTunes on it well not because I'm gonna well maybe also because I'm gonna charge and you know connect some iPhone to, to the thing you know but uh, also to listen online music, you know, I like that. So let's see what it is. iTunes setup. So I'm gonna set this up, and then I have my fantastic online radio coming out of these fantastic speakers. Beautiful. Well, I think it was a satisfying uh, New Year's Day here with this old Armada. She got a complete new makeover. Thing runs fantastic. And that with the 8 gigabyte hard drive. It's just, uh, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a demo model of the past running in the... In, in the future well peeps i'm not gonna make this video any longer i hope you liked what you saw this project here i think it's fantastic uh, system um yeah yeah it's still a fan well you know what i mean fantastic fantastic you know it's what can you do with it i think you can uh, do some music listening with it you can do some music recording with it you can for instance um record your old audio tapes um, from analog sources straight to the machine and then you know save them in cool edit to a wave file burn them to cd create mp3s many things you can do just think of it or just write a book a, a, a big seller that will make you a million dollars many things you can still do with this old laptop peeps thanks again for watching see you in my next video if you like this project of course like Subscribe.